Hello everyone, my name is Araceli and I'm making this quick little tutorial to show you guys how to make your very own sifters. I try to purchase them online wholesale um, to sell them in my shop and they're kind of pricey for what they are. So I used two different resources to come up with this. Um, one of my resources was Real. Uh, Real has a, a tutorial on YouTube and the other one was a page subscription which pretty much covered the same thing. Um, this is what, what you're going to need. You're going to need a pipe cutter. I bought this at Harbor Freight for about $5. You're going to need pipe screens. You can find these in a smoke shop. They're about 6 for a dollar. Uh, wire, any kind of wire. I used copper in this one, aluminum in this one, and then just steel, 16 gauge steel on this one. Um, you could use anything any kind of tube that's going to fit your your screen. This one here I used, actually used a piece of the crazy glue lid to make this tiny little one. Or you could also use copper tubing. Okay, so this is how you cut the... It's probably not the way you do it. This is the way I figured out how to do it. You open your cutter all the way. You're going to figure out how big you want your sifters. Doesn't really matter. You tighten it up and then you spin. Once you go all the way around once, you tighten it up a little bit more. And you keep doing that until it pops off. It's going to be pretty even. If not, you could just use a piece of sandpaper. So even it out. Here's a file just to clean it out a little bit. And you do the same with the copper pipe. Okay. This is probably not as hard as it looks, but I have really weak hands because of my fibro. And there you go. And with the copper, you can use the file. This file, it comes in a three pack at Home Depot. It's really good for, it's also really good for, for the steel wire. Probably safer than using your, your thinner files because I've hurt myself a couple of times. Okay. It's going to come out pretty clean. You don't really do need to do much to it. If you feel like it's a little bit sharp, then you could just file the edges, but it should come out pretty clean. The way that you, you attach your screen to the copper is you mix a little bit of epoxy. Could it be the, the two-part epoxy? Or the regular epoxy, this is um this ice resin. Then you mix up a little bit. Then you just you dip it in the in the resin and then you just drop it on the screen and you just let it dry. I love the fact that it's copper, but it takes too long to dry, so I prefer the PVC. Okay, There's two ways to do this. You could use crazy glue. Do crazy glue all the way around. Ow. 
Just look on the side, make sure you got it all. Looks good. You can clean that out with a exacto knife. There you go. You have your little sifter. You just need a piece of wire. I think it's easier to do it on the big piece and then you just take it over to the sifter. And is your preference how long you want the handles? It's going to be pretty loose, but you could tighten it up by doing this. Like I told you guys, it's not as hard as I make it seem. It's just that my hands are really weak. And then you're going to cut the ends. And you're going to make a little loop on each end. And you need this so I could stand. You need to straighten it up. I wouldn't worry about too much about cleaning it up or painting it like I did to this one just because you want to make. I would. It's a good idea if you have one for each color. Uh, this come out to less than a dollar. Um, the cheapest you find them online would be maybe four dollars but with shipping it comes out to seven dollars so there we have it hope you guys like it